Okay, this is um, another shoot for this alien film I'm doing. And today what I've got to do is try and um, film a segment from the robot scene. And the robot scene I mean is like the scene of Ash when he gets burnt. If you know that scene, I'll play it to you now. Okay, so we're doing that. I've got already got something set up and here it is. So here's the background and then I've got Ash sitting there. And what I was thinking of doing is actually making some spaghetti and just placing spaghetti around here. Um, what we're gonna be doing next as well after that is got a lighter and an aerosol and, and then burn it all. Um, I think the, probably the best place for this is actually where the old fireplace was. Um, I would do it outside, but it's a really windy day and I just can't be bored with the aggro. So I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna put some paper down here so I don't get any overspray from the spray paint. And also there's this part as well. I'm gonna do like a, um, a close up. And what I'll do is I want, if, if you've seen the film, the face like burns away. Um, so what I wanna do is actually put some tissue paper underneath this make some little slits and stuff so it's easier to burn and actually catches fire. Okay, so here he is here. We just tear it up and make, turn it into little balls. Put it underneath like that. Maybe even glue those bits down. There like that. Hopefully this should catch fire a little bit easier. And then we will Flatten that down so it wasn't too bad. Like that. And then also we'll make a few little incisions that you won't be able to notice. So when it comes to burning it, it will burn that much more quickly. I'd say there's quite a few holes there, but none you can really notice. Also, the shoot would be very quick too. Shall I actually make up some spaghetti? Shall I do that? Yeah, why not? Let's make some spaghetti up. So for the close-up, we're going to use this spaghetti and we're going to use these thinner noodles for the shot that's further away. Okay, so we don't need much. Just that much I do. We'll use, we'll just use that much. They get everywhere, these noodles. Okay, they're boiling away. Whoa. Okay, so the noodles and the pasta are very much different in colour. So I'm gonna try and overcook the pasta to see if it comes out a little bit lighter in colour. It will just make it a little better looking. Although I can probably change the colour up in, uh, in corrections later on. Okay, I've got a little pot of noodles and pasta. Let's go and apply it now. All right, so as I said before, we're gonna add the little noodles to this this piece here. Does that work? <laughs> I don't know if that works or not. Just gives it a little bit more depth. They actually stick to the, they actually stick to the paper, which is pretty cool. It actually sticks to the paper, amazing. That is a nice little happy mistake. Surely when we burn it, it's gonna fall right off. And I just remembered I need to set the lights up as well. Let's, let's go to town with it though. Let's put loads here where the head was. What do you reckon, am I overdoing it? I don't think so. I think it looks pretty damn cool myself. Right, so let's do the next bit. Should I zoom out a little bit more like there? Is that good enough? And we're out the lights now, so we're just gonna grab the lights and turn this off. But I've got it in position, so that's good. Okay, let's turn the lights on. Let's open the window too, because it's gonna get a little bit smelly in here. Okay, so I was gonna use spray paint, but I think if I use varnish, there won't be any excess paint flying all over this white here. So um, we're gonna go with the varnish and see how it works out, but I'm gonna test it out the window first, because you never know with these things. Yep, that works. Okay, first, well, this is like the first and only take I'm gonna be able to do. So 
let's give it a shot. Okay, might have to move the light a little bit because I can't quite reach uh, underneath here. Cool. Look at all that smoking away. So the next thing to do now is to burn like this guy who looks a bit like George Bush. <laughs> Let's turn ash into ash. So I've got all the holes. If you look closely, I've got all the holes there and tissue paper behind this. So it's gonna burn even quicker. Although that burnt pretty well. I mean, look, that burnt a hole right through his face. Uh, oh. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, quite literally. Okay, so because it's a close up, I've actually enlarged the background that you didn't even really see in the last shot, um, just enlarged it because we're gonna have the head enlarged. Do you see what I mean? So let's stick that down. Okay. Okay. Dare I put an explosive canister behind the thing I'm burning? Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, the spaghetti. You forgot the spaghetti. Sorry for eating your breakfast, guys. It's gotta be done. Oh yeah, I can cover the cardboard behind him. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> flipping gross. Hmm. Do you know what I might do? I might add a little bit of spray paint on those noodles just to make them blend in with the floor a bit more. Okay. That's better. I've got a little bit of dark blue here that I might add in the background as well. Just gives it a little bit more, a little bit more of a shadowy effect. Right then, let there be light. Okay, once again guys, wish me luck. And that's a wrap. Oh, ouch. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's on fire, is it? Nope. Let's take that upstairs. So I think that was a, uh, an emission well done. So that's it for today. And um, let me know what you think. And if you've got any other ideas of what I could do, like for shots in Alien, like if there's any iconic shots you can think of, um, let me know and I'll maybe incorporate it. One shot I'm really worried about is like the um, Nostromo self-destruct scene where she has to type out all that stuff and those funnels come up and all that business. I don't know. I mean, that's gonna be a very time consuming part. It's gonna take me a long time to do that. Also, another scene that will take a bit of an imagination is the chestburster scene. I've got some ideas for that. Um, got some quite good ideas for that, actually, the chestburster scene. But, like, obviously, maybe give some ideas of your own as well. That'd be really helpful. So, until then, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you once again for more late night reviews. Bye bye.